Those vegan guys. Oh, thank you. Hello there. I'm Paul. I'm Jason. Is, if this is your first time on the channel, hello. Hello. Hi there. Welcome. How are you? I mean, I can't hear you, but how are you? <laughs> um, we're down at uh, Wingip, which is our uh, most local um, Chinese and Oriental goods supermarket. Uh, we come here about once a month. Yeah, to pick up bits like toffee, but this is the big shop today because, if you don't already know, uh, w once um, a fortnight usually, we have this meal. Oh, look how fancy it oh, is. Oh, it's fine. Um, uh, because it's a much it's much cheaper than having a takeaway to come here and buy yourself, buy the stuff yourself and cook it at home. Um, and we always like to do shopping vlogs here. So we thought, as it was a big one today, why not bring you along, show you the plethora of fabulous stuff that they've got available in here. And uh, then when we get home, I'll give you a quick talk through of what we do with them. Yeah. Um, that's about it. Shall we go inside, Mr. Bromley? Let's get it done. Do join us. It shall be fun. <laughs> okay, I'm running ahead with the trolley. Oh, and because we always get asked, by the way, um, no, you don't need to be a member. There is no membership. It's not like... Um, Costco. It's, yeah, it's not like Costco. It's just walking oh uh, goodness. off the supermarket. Look at the size of that. <laughs> Look at that. Nature's Charm sweet and condensed milk. Uh, Nature's Charm, by the way, are a Thai company, Jason. I so. A Thai family company that do Whoa. loads of uh, vegan stuff. You've probably seen lots of it. Oh. Jackfruit in brine. Now that'd be all right if you were making, um, you know, like a savoury, uh, like a, a barbecue jackfruit kind of dish. Because you wouldn't need to add salt, would you? Panned. Look at that as well. Nature's Charm Pure Young Coconut Water. 78 pence. 78 pence. Right there. But those um, silken tofus, the firm and the extra firm, don't be fooled by firm and extra firm though, because it's silken. Perfect for making scrambled tofu. Perfect, I tell you. I love all these bits. You know, all bits and things. <laughs> Loads of noodles and always extremely cheap as well, which is a good thing. And this entire wall here is noodles, it is as well, isn't it? Right the way down, mm -hmm. the instant ones, and um, most. If you check the Indoor Me UK website, you'll find out that most of these um, Indoor Me noodles uh, are in fact vegan. They're marked vegetarian on the website, but you check the ingredients and they're actually vegan. So, very good. Very, very good. What are you checking, Bromers? I just remember when I said the other week that we very rarely just buy plain noodles that you're just cooking hot water. It's always like, you know, yeah. I'm just looking at what they do in terms of just plain noodles when you just add all your own stuff. Well, we... It's all this stuff here. Yeah, we... Um, I got some spinach ones from here not too long ago. Do you not remember? They were dried. It was like... It's that Lisa, that Lisa the Viet Vegan's fault. She's always buying noodle stuff. Mm -hmm. But usually, I don't think she buys um, dried, necessarily. We've just watched her in a shopping vlog this morning. <laughs> sat on her... Uh, Sat on her kitchen floor, she was. Jackfruit chips. Look at that. Lots of uh, candies and things. 
Um, so yeah, I, mean, I don't know what Just because I show you things on camera, by the way, doesn't mean they're vegan. I'm just walking around and uh, I will say specifically when we know something is vegan. Just for a uh, few Trafford. Do they sell them soon here? Yeah, that's where we got them from. Well, I thought we got them from Sainsbury's. Yeah, we got them from here originally. Did we? Yeah. If you've been, uh, if you're keeping up with uh, all of our vlogs and you've seen the um, allotment vlogs, you'll have seen us have one of these lovely 85p pots of noodles the other day. Now, they are clearly marked vegan uh, and they're really delicious, actually very very tasty and you can now get samyang two times spicy in a little instant thing rather than the um rather than the multi-packs which they normally come in them ones might just make this one really long vlog and just have to take everyone on a full walk round huh? okay why not maybe Udon noodles, ten ninety five per case. What? Udon noodles, ten ninety five a case. Mountain pears, fifteen forty eight per case. Ooh. Would you like a baby bath? Would you like a baby bath of tofu? Cause, cause, because you can buy one right here. These are the fabulous little uh, deep fried tofu balls. Um, 149, 195. It's balls and slices. Great for chucking in uh, noodles. You saw? And this is the tofu we always get. £1.29 for 600 grams. It's one of them, Jay. And I'll get a medium one as well. We always use it up, don't we? Mm -hmm. Always. Ooh. Pink ginger. That's not vegan, unfortunately. Don't matter though, I've made some. Did you see my recipe? It were great. Oh, and look at these packs of um, pak choy as well. Huge bag for £4.18, but they've usually got loads there. Uh, lot of, you know, all different uh, weights and prices. Never heard of that. Interesting. Right. I wonder how long this stuff lasts. I said to Jason recently I wanted to get some gallon gal and some lemongrass for doing more uh, Thai, you know, Thai noodles. Oops, sorry. Um, but I don't know how long it lasts. Best before wash before use. Best before the 24th of April. Oh no, I'll never use it that quick. Well, we're only down the road, aren't we? So. Yeah, when I'm ready. Small fruits and veggies. That's the, uh, the moolie that I used. Not the moolie that I used. I bought it from here though. More of the silken tofu. Still the same prices. Firm, extra firm and soft.
lots of uh, dried things. Thai rice berry, red cargo rice, black jasmine, black glutinous rice, and brown jasmine rice. Nice. And this aisle is just like full of dried stuffs, mushrooms in huge bags, uh, chilies. Look at these bags of mushrooms, massive. Jason's nightmare, this aisle. It is a nightmare for me, but this is cool. It's what? a seaweed frisbee. <laughs> uh, yeah. Is it just slices of? Yeah, it's just, it's just seaweed. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Roasted seaweed. Chrysanthemum. Um, oh yeah, look, cumin, turmeric, you know, 65p for a bag like that, it's better than them, uh, well, there's more down here, 175 for a 400 gram bag, you're much better buying, if you use things like this a lot, which we do, we've got a massive bag of, uh, turmeric in our cupboard at home and a garlic powder uh, because they're the things we use a lot and then uh, I realised I kept fit, buying those little glass bottles from the supermarket so now we just fill it up crushed chilies extra hot Jay I'm getting the sauces my sauces around here what I make me uh, dipping sauce with is um, a white rice vinegar and uh, where is it? Can you hold for a minute? Well, I've... One pound thirty-five mushroom flavoured soy sauce. It's very dark and very rich. I used this in my um, deli roast beef that I did the other day uh, with uh, tofu and um, thingy flour. Back to wheat gluten. So one that one. One white rice vinegar. And I want uh, superior light soy sauce as well. And them are the ones I usually get to make my sauce. Nice. You okay? Yeah. Take over again now, check. Lots of pests and uh, I don't know whether these are suitable for vegans, but you can uh, you can check them out. Not the fit not things we buy as a rule. Ooh, salted turnip. Sweetened radish. And then back to the uh, Nature's Charm stuff. Young green jackfruit uh, in water. More shredded young green jackfruit. Oh, wow. Okay, one pound fifteen. Very good. Uh, vegetarian yeah. meals. I think that most of these are actually suitable for vegans in these tins. And we've got uh, mock duck, vegan calamari. I've got a tin of that in the cupboard at home. Not touched it yet. Uh, mock pork, mock chicken. All of all of the mock meats. All the mock meats. Right, let's get our uh, usual fare, which is over here. So they've got this um, little stand here. 
which says vegan and again more of the nature's charm stuff we've got the coconut caramel coconut matcha sauce Ooh. coconut salted caramel coconut chocolate fudge sauce tar taro chips coconut milk the vegan calamari again jackfruit jackfruit banana blossom what's these on the bottom here Jay? oh rice noodles so they're a dry noodle Jay. yeah I'm not, i mean I'm, i don't even recall being a massive fan of rice noodles to be honest no it's that textural and you know right do you want to just hold this while i um, right, so we need. I'm coming back a little bit so we don't get that terrible flashing. Yeah, one crispy tiger prawn, uh, which as you can see are like a, you know, a, a dumpling skin wrapped in vermicelli and inside it's crunchy vegetables. Gorgeous. Small drumstick, which is like on a wooden lolly stick. And then again, it's like a tofu skin kind of really compacted, delicious. We cut them up and have them in our rice. Uh, satay sticks. We always get two of them because we have um, two each on our on our Chinese meal when we have it. Um, one breaded drumstick. They've got like a, a bamboo stick inside them, but they're lovely. You weren't keen on these at first, were you, Jay? No, but um, yeah, I like them now. Yeah, they grew on I think you started cooking them a little bit longer as well. Possibly. Yeah, yeah, probably have. And then all this meal, fried gluten. Again. Sorry about the flashing. All the mock, mock duck, mock chicken. So strange. Anyway, there you go. So that's all we get, other than the dumplings. So let's go and get some dumplings. Here, I can't do both. No, no. Yeah, this is a weird flashing, isn't it, Jay? Yeah. Thy soy. Soy drink. Seem to have quite a few different kinds of them. You may as well show behind you as well because you get all your baking goods from here, or at least a lot of it. Yeah, essences and everything. Yeah, and all your flowers, your wheat flowers. And yeah. Plain flour. And you've got that um, sweet, gluttonous rice flour. Yeah. Oh yeah. Gluttonous rice flour, you can use that to make kimchi. Just so as you know. Oh, barbecue jackfruit, young green jackfruit confit. Evaporated milk, coconut whipping cream, coconut apple pudding, coconut custard. Marvellous. Marvellous, really, Jess. Uh, where's, oh, dumplings are on end there. Oh, they were. Unless they've moved down one. Nope, they're here. And two bags of these. See, so it says vegetable dumpling. They're delicious. We, uh, we pan fry them. Uh, they've got that black vinegar in. No, I'm not. It's no essential thing, but it was a, it was a nice addition to the dipping sauce. Um. 
so there we are. One more at the bottom, I think. Which I think is down here. It is. <laughs> Uh, there, shelled edamame. And fabulous. Look. Sushi roll at a pound. That one's 99p. Oh, edamame soybean noodles. Konjac noodles. They're bound to be vegan. One three. Suitable for vegans right on the front there. Took me a minute. Yeah, they all say suitable for vegans. There's the prices. Nice. Yeah, you want to avoid going down there because it's where you start getting into all the meat and stuff. Uh, but you don't need to because, you know, everything for veggies and vegans is up in this top section here. Uh, have I got everything? Yeah, I think we've got everything, mate. Shall we check out? Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. I'll tell you how much this little lot is, but uh, there it all is. There it all is. <laughs> Haven't broken this yet. No pauses. I gathered. Oh, this is closed. Oh. Are you closed? I am open. I'm doing this. Oh. Here. Okay, sorry. While well, we're waiting, just go on. I keep looking at these things, you know, like the, um, the, and I'm sure that some of them are actually vegan. But I just haven't kind of been through them all and checked. So if anybody knows any of these uh, or these kind of things, you know, like these. If anybody knows any of these that are in fact vegan, let us know, will you? Because it will save me uh, checking them all out. Yeah, there's so much other stuff as well, you know, like it's sweet treats and teas and other drinks and things. It's uh, you just got to check them out. You got to check them out. As we say in all our shopping vlogs, always check your ingredients. Unless something says quite clearly vegan on the um, on the packet, and then you don't necessarily need to. I'll leave him doing this so I can film. Oh, 
Uh, yeah. Yeah. Are you all right? £38.50. That little lot. £38.50. Right, uh, we'll see you back at home, which is that away. Thank you. 20 minutes later. So, before we say goodbye, I uh, just thought I'd uh, kind of very quickly take you through the meal that you saw at the start. So, these are what we start with, which are the small, plain uh, drumsticks. Uh, put two of these in the oven. Oven's on at 200 for half an hour. These go in first. Uh, for the first 10 minutes, sometimes 210 because I want them to crisp up a bit. Uh, the prawns and the satay sticks both go in after 10 minutes for the final 20 minutes, and they have uh, peanut butter and encorna chili sauce mix put on them because we like that really kind of hot, spicy satay. Um, these go in at the same time as them too. These are the, the breaded uh, drumsticks, much firmer than the other ones. These, the first ones that, that I put in, by the way, we don't have them as drumsticks. I cut them up into pieces with spring onions and mix them in with the brown rice we have with the dish. Um, what else? Where else am I nasty? Uh, the dumplings go in the frying pan for the full 30 minutes. I heat it up with a little bit of oil in, get all the dumplings in, after 15 minutes flip them over to the other side, perfect, crispy dumplings. Uh, and the egg and army we just serve on the side, so I'm going to get all this put away, come and say goodbye Mr Bromley. Uh, hope you've enjoyed that little trip around uh, Wingip. Are we doing that for fun times? For a lap. <laughs> Oh, you've enjoyed that little trip around uh, Wingate with us again. Uh, don't forget, they are in Manchester, Birmingham and London, Wingate, and they're not um, membership. You can just walk in off the street. If you don't live in, in or near enough to one of those three big major cities, just type your area into Google, Wigan, Davenport, Kent, followed by the words Chinese supermarket. And I guarantee there will be one near you. You can always ring them up and say, are you public access? Nine times out of ten they'll say yeah. And you'll be able to get a plethora of stuff just like that. They're worth going just for the tofu. It is, and hopefully, um, we are saying in the car, if you've never been to your local um, sort of supermarket that sells this type of stuff, uh, even if it's not a wing yet, they are often very similar, they often sell similar stuff, and hopefully we may have alleviated some of your worry, stress or anxiety about going somewhere that's a bit unusual that you might have never been to before. Yeah, first time we went we were a bit like we were, but then we were like, ooh, look at all this stuff you can buy. So, yeah, hope you've enjoyed that. Um, uh, check out the rest of our uh, supermarket playlists. All the major UK supermarkets are already in there. And uh, get yourself down to your local Chinese supermarket. How else, Mr. Brommers? That's it. Give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Spread the word about the down to earth veganism. Please subscribe to the channel. All that stuff, you know. Love you, Mr. Love you. Mm. Love you guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again very soon. And until then, please be excellent to yourselves and each other. <coughs> Bye, loves. Freezer for me now. I'm not getting the fever, I'm putting this in the freezer.